This is Chris from Atlantic Outboard, and I'm going to do a digital delivery for our 2022 Rabalo 242 Explorer. Let's hop on board and take a look. First thing you do when you get on your, your brand new 242 Explorer is you're going to come behind the boarding door and turn on your battery switch. Okay, in the 12 o'clock position, you can see that it's an off position. You're going to turn it all the way down to the 6 o'clock position to give power to both batteries. You have a reset breaker for your auto build, your stereo. You have a main reset for your windlass and helm. You want to make sure those are in the up position. If you ever lose power to your windlass, which is common, if it's under extreme load, you want to come back here and make sure that that switch has not tripped. If it has, you flip it in the up position. Once you get your power on, you can head to the helm. Let's continue to the helm. And Once you have your battery switch on, you can come to the helm and tilt your motor all the way down. There's going to be a button on the shifter push that all the way down to the motors in the all the way down position. Next thing is make sure your safety lanyard is on. That horseshoe shape simply slides under that button and it keeps that button uh, in the right position so you can start your motor. Then you can go over to your key, turn the key, start your motor. Give that motor a few minutes to warm up before you're getting underway. Let's review what you have on your switching here. You have a push button for your horn, your aft bilge, it's a manual button for your bilge. That bilge is hardwired to the battery so it will operate if needed even if the battery switches off. You have spreader lights. This boat is equipped with spreader lights two facing aft, one facing forward. You have some courtesy lights on the decking. You also have live well light and underwater light switch. Now this boat is not equipped with the underwater lights. This is a generic panel but if the boat gets underwater lights down the road you could simply wire it to that switch. Uh, the boat's also equipped with trim tabs, Yamaha gauge, you have, for 2022, you have a wireless charging dock here. You have a 12 volt plug, USB charger, your Clarion head unit for your stereo. Over on the port side of the dash, you have your push button for your live well, a push button for wash down, fresh water. So to operate the toilet, it needs fresh water or to operate the fresh water shower. You have to make sure that fresh water pump is on. Electronics. Sometimes either the factory or ourselves will wire your GPS to the electronics button. So if you hit the power button on your GPS and it's not powering up, try hitting the electronics button also. Uh, trim tabs, you need to have that button on to actually give power to the trim tabs. Uh, you have a blank accessory switch to add components to the boat down the road. And then you also have up and down controls for your windlass at the helm. This boat also has a little cubby for storage, stainless cup holders, a tilt helm, up on the dash, you have a great spot to throw your keys, your cell phone when you get on the boat. Um, you also have overhead storage with a friction hinge. You can equip uh, the VHF or it's just great storage for miscellaneous items. This boat also has the tilt up and down uh, bolster seating, white powder coat, um, double elevation step for your, your feet while you're at the helm. Let's continue to look through the rest of the components on this boat. The helm of the 242EX, you have the dual flip up bolster seating. This gives you the ability to have you know, one passenger seated, one passenger standing. Right now, this is in the seated position. If you want to sit down, you simply apply pressure and this piece will all come down and create a nice, comfortable seat for you. In the bow area of the R242 Explorer, you have very deep, generous seating. You notice how the backrest is very high, stainless grab rail throughout, very family friendly. It also offers excellent storage underneath all the cushions. You notice how you don't have to remove the cushion to access your storage. Uh, it also gives you a bow filler cushion um, or a bow table. So when you're sitting here with your guests, you'll have a table here. You also have a tremendous amount of storage below deck. Um, you also can access your windlass. You'll have windlass controls up front to haul and uh, drop your anchor. You have tackle storage in the gunnels. Let's continue with the rest of the components in this boat. The 242EX comes equipped with a bow seating backrest. Now to install these, you simply line it up in the groove. There's going to be a detent. You pull this out, it allows it in, and locks it into place. Very simple to put those in and out. On the port side of the boat, you have your fuel fill. Now this simply is just push button. There's a button on the side, you push that, and it'll allow this cap to come up. Obviously stick the fuel nozzle in there and begin fueling the boat. You also have pull-up cleats very high freeboard, a stainless grab handle. Let's continue to look at the components inside the head compartment. In the head compartment of your 242 Explorer, you have a nice freshwater flush toilet. Make sure the dash switching for the water pressure is on. That'll give you the ability to, to flush the toilet 
you have a switch on the left side of the toilet that you could simply add water or actually do a flush. There's an LED light in this compartment. You'll also have a port light window so you can actually open it up, allow fresh air in and out. Um, there's a door lock. So great space for storage or obviously to use the head compartment. In the transom of the R242 Explorer, you have a very generous L-shaped sofa. Under the starboard side cushion, you have a access to your live well. Under the middle cushion is access to your bilge compartment. And then on the port side cushion, you have a very deep, generous amount of storage. On the transom of the boat, you have your ski toe. Let's continue to look at the motor on this boat. At the end of the day, when you're done with your motor, it's recommended to flush it with fresh water. You simply unscrew this adapter, take your garden hose, and then you would screw it in. You do not run the motor. You just turn the hose on and allow it to flush the salt water out of that motor. On the port side of the transom, you'll notice you have your charge port for your battery charger. This is your waste pump out for your head compartment. You also have pull up cleats and the ski toe. Let's take a look on the starboard side of this transom. On the starboard side transom of your R242 Explorer, you have your freshwater shower. Now to operate this, you have to turn your freshwater switch on the dash on. Um, then you can simply pull it out, use the freshwater to rinse your hair or what needed. You also have your freshwater fill. So at the end of the day, if you've been using your freshwater the whole time, you unscrew this cap, simply put the freshwater hose in there, continue to wash the boat and just let that fill up. Once it's full, it'll overflow, you know it's full, you put the cap back on. Under here is your dedicated storage for your ladder. The ladder simply closes like so. Flip this in and close it away. So that's the digital delivery for your brand new 242 Explorer. If you have any questions, give us a call at Atlantic Outboard or check us out at AtlanticOutboard.com.